Hey guys, welcome to this very special presentation with Media Spotlight UK. My name is Atif Nawaz. And I'm Darius Davies and we're here with none other than Gabriel Kidd himself. How's it going guys, you all good? good. It's, go it's going great man. Listen, there's so much buzz here. How cool is it to be a part of What Culture Pro Wrestling? It's so cool man, like a year ago I was just kind of making a name for myself on like the smaller independent shows and if you asked me I'd be in the position I'm in now, I would have told you to go away. I mean, just look behind us, we got all all the fans meeting the wrestlers currently, got a big pay-per-view, Kurt Angle, Alberto Patron, so many big names on this show, it's just such a cool thing to be a part of and I'm happy to be here, happy to be here guys. And this is an amazing opportunity because I've just had a moment to speak to Gabriel. You're only 19, but you've been training since you're... How old? 11 years old. Eight years in the game, 19, already on the same card with Kurt Angle. So really, that keep it up. The sky's the limit yeah. for you, man. That's what I'm going to try and do, brother. I mean, it's just, I'm just getting started and I'm looking forward to what the future is going to hold for me. I for really sure. Am. Like Now, on screen, like you, you often play a babyface character, uh, but you team with a heel. That That's a really unusual dynamic. I actually don't. Because Prince Amin gave me a hug a few months ago. So he's a face now? He is a good guy. Nice. He's a well and true good guy. He's a... Hey, people, I'm on the same desk as him in the meet and greet. I'm like, I'm sitting here looking on baby face. See, people are coming up. A like, literal oh, baby face. Prince Amin, can, can we have a photo? And I'm just kind of sitting there like... <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you. <laughs> but, no, he's the best. You need to go to, like, to the Middle East, man, get a tan, get a nice cafe. That's, that's it, you, you'll, you'll, get, you'll get all that action, man, for sure. He actually gave me like a traditional like Indian gown. He said, in my house, I, I think I wore it once, and I was going to give it back to him. He's like, no, nah, bro, legit, you can have that, mate. It is yours. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good impression, man. i got to yeah. tell you, it's a good impression. Good impression, guy. Really? Yeah. What's your best one? Probably my Joe Hendry impression. Do it, do it. Let's say the Joe Henry. Hey, wait, wait for it. This is Gabriel Kidd doing Joe Hendry. Hello, I am the local hero, Joe Hendry, and I am here with multimedia. Is it multimedia? What? Media spotlight is media. Media Spotlight. Media Spotlight. Media Spotlight UK. And I am here for an interview with the local hero. And as I am doing a Joe Hendry impression, I am moving my hands in every <laughs> single direction like I am going to the swimming baths. That is fantastic. Round of applause. <laughs> what's your, look, <laughs> I want to know, what are your, what's your career ambitions? Where do you see yourself in five years' time? What are the hopes, dreams? The end goal, not necessarily five years, but the end goal, I think, for everyone has to be WWE. Yeah. The biggest professional wrestling company in the world. But there's things that I'd like to do before I go to WWE. I want to... Such, such as? Uh, New Japan is a big one. Japan, yeah. any Japanese wrestling, I'm a big fan of Japanese wrestling and watch guys like Minoru Suzuki and Yoshihiro Takeyama and be on shows with those guys is still surreal to me. But Japan's definitely something I want to do and America as well. But I think the end goal definitely would have to be WWE. Well, like in WWE, like the trend uh, nowadays alongside the wrestling is to do a lot of TV and do a lot of films. Now, I want to ask you a question since you, you know about the WWE stuff. Yeah. Have you ever seen any of the WWE films? I've seen uh, films with WWE superstars in them. I don't know if they're necessarily WWE films. Okay. Which one would you, if you could do a film, if you could take a wrestler's place in a film that a wrestler's been in, which one would you do? <laughs> Mr. Nanny. <laughs> no, the chaperone, man. The Triple H, the chaperone. That's a real good film. Hey, you hear that, Paul? It's a real good film. All right. Okay, <laughs> I, I have a question. So, any guys out there who's looking to get in pro wrestling, you're 19, really, yeah, yeah. beginning your career, what what, what attributes, what, what's your training regimen like? What would they need to do to get into the in like your shape? What do you do to stay in shape, ring shape? And what would their options be to going out and on their first steps being a pro wrestler? So, I say go online. These days, there are so many good training schools wherever you are in the UK. Honestly, there's some of the best people training, like Rampage Brown, Styx, Joseph Connors, some of the best professional wrestlers in the UK. Out there who did you schools. train with? Uh, Styx trained me, and Joseph Connors mentored me. But I'd say get yourself in a good training school. Get in the gym, work on your physique, work on your talking, work on a character, work on everything. But I believe professional wrestling is one of the hardest things in the world to do. Because say with like, if you're a football player, 
you've got to do like certain things, but you train in like different areas, like your passing, your shooting, your dribbling, things like that. Professional wrestling, you have to walk a certain way, you have to talk a certain way, you have to move your body in certain ways so it doesn't look bad or doesn't look phony. It's such a hard thing to do, but get yourself in with a good trainer, get yourself in good shape, travel around, network around the UK. If you're not on a show, go along, show your face, go to the guys running the show, say hello, introduce yourself. But I wrestle under this guy. If you never need anyone, nice to meet you. That kind of thing. That's, that's, that's legit of, advice. That's really good advice, yeah. man. And what, hey, man. What, what's your training regime? Like, what do you do to work out? Like, uh, at, the mo at the moment, as in my actual like gym deadlift, routine. Deadlift, yeah. Like, yeah, okay. Like, so I'm like, wants to burn himself up. What's the training? I've been speaking routine? to... How do we get uh, Atif into shape? What does he need to do <laughs> to, get, Tell me. To, to get ring ready, man? This is good, yeah. So I've been speaking to a, a wrestler by the name of Joe Coffey. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He wrestles for What Culture as well. Really good. And uh, I've been talking to him about a lot of powerlifting movements. So at the moment, I'm doing a lot of like... Just the compounds like bench press, deadlift, squat, and uh, military press. That's all. Training. That's coming in a lot of functional training such as that. Put yeah. the size on the strength on, and you need that if you're going to be hoisting men up over your head and stuff. Yeah, definitely. And then on, I do that, and then on a Wednesday evening, I uh, attend a advanced wrestling class with uh, Joseph Connors, and uh, we do the drills that. That's technique. I've been taught like in. Like ring conditioning drills, so when you get in there, you're not kind of like. <sighs> so I've been to seminars with guys like Robbie Brookside, Dave Taylor, guys who work in the WWE Performance Center, mm -hmm. taking their drills and do them every Wednesday to keep in ring shape and stuff like that. So we start off like it's just heavy cardio conditioning basically, and then we'll get in the ring and we'll spar for around an hour. Uh, Gabriel, final question. Uh, we're gonna ask everybody this: favorite wrestler of all time. Only one Ooh. favorite wrestler of all time. Easy, Arn Anderson he is my favorite. That's it. That's a classic, oh, man. That's a wild card. Not that a is a wild card, that. man. Arn see how and you're young as well for Arn Anderson. He is. Yeah. Hey. That 80s style wrestling is my favorite style wrestling. I love it, man. That's so much credibility. Guys and girls, it's Gabriel Kidd. Gabriel Follow his Kidd. career. He's the man to watch. One day you might see him in WWE. Who knows? Yes.